This conference will now be recorded. Is the screen in, uh, visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So the yesterday's uh, account payable or account receivable, I did. Account receivable, sir. Okay. So the practical part I will explain today. So, last class I have done uh, customer creations now. So, in how to create the customers here, you need to go for IMG uh, financial accounting. Under that, account receivable. Account receivable or account payables. Here, customer account. Master data. Preparation. So here to define the account groups for the customers. So here new entries. Account group, I have created, I have showed you three different types of account group here. So we created domestic customers and um, export customers and one time customers we need to create. Now, first we will be creating domestic. The code you can create as A001. customer here yeah, company code data so, so literally you need to select account management requisition entry then save same so the same manner you need to create a002 and a003 everyone practiced yes sir ah. so after creating this uh, create number ranges for the vendor uh, customers we have created so here again account receivables payables customer account master data preparation Create number ranges to customer account. 
So here intervals, this is how you need to create. So once you come into the customers, you create a click here, click on intervals, click on plus. So you can give your own intervals, but it should be not repeated. So it should be different. So here only till 5 lakh it is. I can create one more. MC. I'll create 5 lakh 700 to 6 lakh. Enter. So it is created here. Then save. So here one vendor, so, sorry, customer number engine created. The next, what you need to do is like, you should assign a number range to the customer group. So here, assign number range to customer group here itself, position, whatever, what are the assignment group you have created. So here you need to give that uh, name then save for all the three different types of customers you can create the same name itself then save so this is right these are all the things that we need to create we have created understood Ma masters customer account and number range and assigning understood Any doubts here? No, sir. So, after we created this one, define tolerance groups. So, when I have told for the same, you can define it. So, here, The path is account receivable, so you need to go for business transactions. So business transaction, incoming account. So manual. Define tolerance group for customers. So here you need to uh, select the company. Click on the new entries. Company code you give tolerance group if it we have then we need to give the amount excuse me
So here, after giving this much, save. Then come back. So it is created. So after this, so for receivable, you can create the customer payment terms. So your account receivable, business transaction, incoming payments for global settings. So here, maintain terms for payment. Your income invoice and credit memos. So for that maintain terms payment. So here click on new entries. Terms, payment terms, you can create your own uh, payment terms. So here you can type. Yeah. Five percentage of fourteen days. Two percentage of twenty days. Thirty this net value so after this customer vendor document date some amount terms so then save enter 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 So this uh, uh, you save the information after giving all this. Okay. So like this, it will be there. After giving these things. Come back. Then create customer masters. So here to create the customer masters. For a path. So have I explained you about uh, creating the customer master data? Have I explained?
So yesterday you did uh, create, a, create customer account group, then uh, creating range for customer account, assigning the number for customer account, then okay. tolerance, and then dummy procedure. Okay, so dunning procedure, I'll finish it off. See, customer master actually for the sales and distribution we do. I'll just show you how to create this customer masters for the transaction. Okay, so the, for dunning procedure, SPRO, MG, financial accounting, new. So we go for financial accounting, new. Financial accounting new. Account receivable and account payables. Business transactions. Dunning. So here, Dunning procedure. Define Dunning procedure. So once you click on this Dunning procedure, click on the Dunning level, new procedure. So here you need to enter the code. So I just give some code, uh, MCC one only I'll give, name, Dunning procedure for customers so here i'll give seven four p so interest indicator you have pop-up button so here one is a standard interest so balance interest it will take so like this, you can take a different uh, interest level. This interest level also we can create it, but we, that will be done by the uh, sales and distribution. So we may not create it. We will be selecting the one standard interest data. So after selecting this much, click the standard transaction dummy, then save. So you get warning, enter, enter. So it will save. Now your data is saved. So now if I come back here that our procedure will be saved. So like this, you can, we can select the particular procedure. Okay. Okay, so the next uh, one more part I will explain you. Write down it in create customer master data. It is nothing but like a customer ledger. So which we have created for the sundry the credit tasks. Same manner we will be creating. But here a real of the like means we can create the master data for the customers also completely. Their company details, uh, their organization details, everything we can do. But we require the uh, sales and distribution to do here. Okay. So Heading you write down, explanation you write down. Customer can be a person 
or or an organization to whom you are providing goods and providing goods and service so one more point you write down So this is the uh, abbreviation of like explanation about the the uh, customer uh, master data path you write down. IMG. Write down this T code and path. I'll explain how to create it. Once you wrote, let me know. Thank you. 
Once wrote, let me know. Dancer. After uh, um, coming to the particular path, So it is in the um, easy access screen, okay? Not in the IMG reference, it's in the easy access screen. It is IMG, you change it into So here, logistics, sales and distribution, master data, business partner, customer, so here under the create, you select complete, okay. So complete, it is not in a different screen, you go for create. So here you should select the account group. So we have created three different types of account groups. So in that you will be selecting one type. Domestic customer, which I have created, I'll select that one. So customer uh, you need to select. If there is a customer details, you can select that also. But here we require exact SD to do integration. So we don't give that. It's nothing but like a ledger accounting group which we have we can create it so that particular group you will be selecting here okay so next company code so your company code you should give so the same uh, now we need to create a sales organization actually for the sales and distribution we need to create the sales organization now I don't have the sales organization also to do because um, I have not done the sales and distribution. So I'll check with this company code. Okay. Right 
charger. So one organization I have created for uh, MM integration, then I select that one. So here you need to give the distribution channel. So it's nothing but like what kind of sales you are doing, either it is a new business or inter internet sales or uh, in industrial customer sees what type of customers to be selected you need to select one type so I will be selecting one direct sales I am doing for him so I will select zero one if I have oh uh, sorry I'll select him as for a for example purposes means if I really do for the sales and distribution I can select what type of sales I am doing yet so I either can or I can select the uh, internet cell like I'll just select direct sales hmm? so here uh, where how to divide the transactions or well, whatever it I do it so there are so many different types of details that means what I sell for them what division I'll be selling so I do pumps here this also we need to create it but uh, we are uh, not able to uh, show you to creation of this because it's in the sales and distribution so division should be created in the sales and distribution thing that i am selling for him is pumps then customer id and uh, company code see your sales organization distribution channel reference division these are all you need to give then you just tick this one okay you write down this information once you wrote let me know Yes, sir. So this practical thing we won't be able to do okay? since we have not created the sales. Sales and distribution. Yes. Okay. It's just for information, no, sir. Yes, yes, sir. So it will only say so sales of CP1 is not defined for the customer. So we need to create the customer details in detail. So means I need to inter integrate the uh, what sales and distribution. So here I cannot do it uh, because I require a sales organization and not to. So we may not do this. We just uh, accept this part. Only this much we need to create. And after this information, you will be giving the address detail here. So address details of the company you need to specify. So after the address detail, now I have showed you to create some ledger node, general ledgers like uh, sundry creditors I showed. So some of the expenses ledger I showed, cash and for liabilities and all like that only three steps it will come. So in this you will also get a shipping. 
that shipping we may not pot, pro, can't process because we need a sales and distribution okay understood any doubts till here no sir okay. so this is how we do this uh, particular uh, details okay now we create the bank accounting next we do the bank accounting so fee part i will i'll be most of it like i might finish it off tomorrow then i'll start with the controlling part tomorrow or day after tomorrow i may finish the uh, fee part the next i'll be starting is controlling okay so after that uh, transaction few more transaction i'll show so then you need to practice everything from the first so you're all maintaining the notes a proper notes yes sir. okay so what you need to do in the sense one book you maintain properly for this only uh, in the first two sheets you make it as a index sheet whatever the heading i have made you to create so organizational unit financial global setting so like that for that whatever i have thought related that fee part and co part and uh, once one side you only write the t codes name of the t codes name of the t codes okay okay sir so the next we will be creating is banking account and the notes and all it is in the institute so now i am accessing from my house only everything the notes i may not couldn't take i forgot to send to my uh, mail id so i am typing everything okay so create bank key so you need to create a bank key means that not, that is nothing but like a master record only means you are going to create your bank details sir. so that bank details will be created by this bank key okay so what is the path for this sir? path master records bank create e code f501 
That's it. Okay. <laughs> Two minutes. Sorry. So here we need to create a bank. Accounting. This also should be done by the easy access screen only. Financial accounting. Under that uh, account uh, receivables and accounts payables. So your master data, master records. So we'll go for banks only. Uh, under financial accounting if you find together with that you will go for uh, account receivable payables if not we'll go for banks See, this actually uh, is for a back-end part, means like as I told, no technical part also we need to do it here. So whenever you do the bank details and all, no, whenever you connect that banks standardly, uh, there are so many functions which in, we need to create. This is a ABAP programming level. So this controlling sessions we don't do. Uh, my system requires some updates. It is not showing the exact uh, create level. ABAP is asking me to create. Mm, we'll go for T code. Okay. 
okay. so this is how it will ask me first you need to enter the country country i in india so you need to enter your bank uh, key so there are so many bank keys which we need to create here manually we will create it so if you have a bank key is nothing but like you can create one of the bank account so once you enter that it will ask you the bank key uh, bank name city bank account number uh, uh, shift code if you have swift code if you have bank branch and household then uh, tick after ticking that information will store here yeah. so like this the bank name the this is a bank key so your uh, ifsc code will be there no you can give that ifsc code only for the bank key then bank name house uh, house number and the street that address city branch and the details of the bank these are all the things you need to give okay so what you need to do is like you don't have the bank key first after you creating here you should click on this uh, t code sorry pop up button then you need to give these informations okay you write down this uh, information you give some in, uh, some bank details and you tick it will save Road. So any bank details, it may not be correct one. So we can do anything. Uh, yeah uh, now like we may not process that integration level no so because uh, we need to do some integration for this uh, in real time these are all will be created for you to know how to go we are going to show so here you can give any of the code any standard uh, ifsc code or anything you can give nothing will be a problem for your real bank account so only for your practice purposes as you have your own laptops private laptops you can give the information here and just save the data that's it Understood? Yes, sir. So, uh, one more I'll say. That also we may not possible to do in detail, but I'll just show you the path and decoder. That is uh, electronic bank statement configuration we do. So electronically we can configure it. Config. 
I'll just write FA. FA means financial accounting. Understand BA I'll write. BA means bank account. BT I'll write. BT means uh, um, the business transaction. So this is uh, I'll write EBS that is electronic bank statement. I done this uh, authentic code. This mainly should ask the chart of account. Mm -hmm. Write down the path. Mm -hmm. FA means financial accounting, BA means bank account, BT means uh, business transaction. Mm -hmm. Mm, yes. 
Yeah, tell me. Told anything? Wrote? A T code. T code, uh, yeah, exactly it is not specified for this. You use the path only. Yeah, okay, I just saw. Oh, yeah. Good evening, uh, Dolly. So uh, I just saw your message. Fine then. Uh, you reinstall the software. Start working once it has been done. Okay. I repeated the same topic only. You understood, Sri Lakshmi? Yes, Sri Lakshmi. Same thing like I have repeated now. Now, whatever that yesterday I thought theoretically, the same practically I showed. Do you understand? Do you want me to repeat? Okay. T code I will want I will say okay then again. Uh, first, what we did is create customer account. So, path is obd2. The second one we need to do is T code is XP and one. Assigning the company code to the group. Here I made you to write down the path, or uh, which I made you to create for the assigning the customer number ranges. Same uh, T code you use for, for this also. So which I have used for the vendors, no. Same thing only you can use for this as well. Okay. Then we create a defined tolerance group. Vendor or master. 
T code is OBA3. This is for customer. BB8. Then create master record. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes. Assign number ranges to customer account groups is uh, OBAS, no, sir. Yeah, I forgot. OBAS. Yeah. In SAP, there are 9,000 plus T codes. I, I get more confusion with MMT codes and uh, FE code T codes. But more, whatever I have made you to write, it is almost up to the same T codes. You try the T codes once. If any T codes is not working, let me know. I'll uh, give you the exact T code for that. Yes, you need to remember. In exam, uh, we'll ask you T codes also. This is for uh, configuration. So, Dunning uh, T code you write down FBMP. Okay. So, if you have not written, you can write down this. Did you understand, Shruti? Uh, you check with the T codes now.
wrote a So these are all the uh, uh, T codes and the paths. You practice well. These are only very important. Here, customer master data and bank details. We require to integrate some other things. So for bank to create, you can create the bank account key. But uh, electronic bank statement configuration, you just write down the path. It is difficult to process because we require house uh, bank data means real time bank uh, beneficiary code we need to attach to this so if i wanted to attach that in the sense i require some uh, security level uh, codings the abap level i need to create that is uh, difficult to do in now we only using as a user interface like uh, end user part so we are not exactly using uh, as a backend for it also so end user level you are we, we are using okay so whatever we have created the most of the things we will be also using in the real time industries so, so if you have any further questions you can ask me Any doubts, sir? Any doubts? No, sir. So, uh, next uh, we will be creating the few asset part. Then we create the uh, controlling part. Okay, so till here, whatever that I have thought, you practice well. Uh, first, we have completed is uh, SAP fee basic things. So theory part we have completed. Then we done is organization structure. So in organization structure, define company, co company code to company, credit control area, assign company code, business area, functional area, then uh, segments and assigning part we completed. Global settings, we created uh, fiscal year variant uh, and um, open and closing posting periods, posting keys and uh, document types which we have created, then assignment. So then general ledger, we have created chart of account and um, general ledger accounting we have done. So tax configuration, GST we did. So GST procedures and uh, GST configuration we created. Now account payables and account receivables we have created. So the, this level after creating this bank account we are created. Now we will be doing this uh, some more related to the controlling part and we do with the FICO part few things which we will continue and do it. Okay. So practice well till here. Any any doubts? So the further I'll continue tomorrow. Until that you practice well. Okay. So thank you so much. Yes. Tomorrow sir. I'll
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.